हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर एस एस टी क्लास रूम ना स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू लेसन ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट न्यू लेसन आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू सम पिक्चर्स यू हैव टू लुक एट दैट पिक्चर एंड यू हैव टू रिकॉग्नाइज दैट पिक्चर सो स्टूडेंट्स आर यू रेडी नाउ लेट स्टार्ट नाउ लुक एट दिस फर्स्ट पिक्चर कैन यू रिकॉग्नाइज दिस पिक्चर येस This picture is of Qutub Minar. Okay, now look, uh, look at other picture. This is red fort. Good. Next, next, this is India Gate. Oh, students, you uh, might be have seen all this picture, or you might be have visit to this place. So, can you tell me where it is? In which part of India? It is in Delhi. Yes, right, students. Students, today we are going to start new lesson. That is lesson number eight, Delhi. Okay, today we are going to talk about the Delhi. Now, students, ah, uh, in India there are four metropolitan cities are there. So, include first Delhi, Mumbai. Kolkata and Chennai. These four are the metropolitan cities. Students, you know metropolitans, so the cities which have more than ten lakhs people are there. Ten lakhs or populations are there. That city is known as metropolitan cities. Okay. So students, first we'll talk about the Delhi. Come on, now we'll visit to the Delhi. You want to? Visit to Delhi? Yes, of course. Now, before visiting Delhi, you should know the details about the Delhi. That what is famous in that place? Which place is famous? What the people they have their food, their culture, etc. Right? So let's start first. First, we'll start about the introduction of the lesson, and we'll here we'll see the location where it is. there where this delhi is situated okay now students you all know that this delhi is the capital of india right and it is locally known as delhi yes dilwalon ki delhi so students it is believed that that the city of delhi was first built by the pandavas you might be have heard the story of mahabharat right the pandavas in that so it was believed that that this delhi was built by the pandavas okay after thousands of years students you know that this delhi you might be have heard somewhere that this delhi is ruled by many king right example delhi sultanate Tughlaq, example Tughlaq, Mughal Emperor, etc. Right, students. So, students, uh, after a thousand, after a thousand years, this Delhi was rebuilt, the city, and it called Shahanabad. Okay, and who rebuilt this city? Shah Jahan, the Mughal Emperor. Okay, students. This Delhi, it uh, this Delhi is not now the capital of India. It is in the old times, in the ancient times, it has been. It is the capital of India, students. But the name was different in that times. When the Pandavas were ruled in Delhi, when the Pandavas, it was Delhi was known as Indraprastha. Yes. Okay. The city of Delhi was built by the Pandavas, and it was known as Indraprastha. Much later, an emperor named Shah Jahan, okay, and he re rebuilt the city, and it's called Shahanabad. Okay. In Venice, this new Delhi was planned by Edward Lutyens and Sir. Herbert Baker, okay, as the capital of India 
under the British rule. Okay. Now, students, after this Mughal emperor, the when the British rule came in India, so the British built the New Delhi as the capital of India. Okay. So now, students, this New Delhi is our national capital. Now, students, let's see the location and government offices. So, students, this Delhi is located on the bank of river Yamuna. Where it is located? On which bank of river? It is located on the bank of river Yamuna. Okay. Delhi shares its boundary with Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Okay, students. Now, students, this Delhi is divided into two parts. Old Delhi and New Delhi. Okay. Students, the British which build uh, the Delhi which is built by British that is a New Delhi. Okay. So, students, the official name of Delhi is the National Capital Territory of Delhi. Okay. Now, students, Delhi is the center of the government of India. The president, the prime minister and all the ministers of central government have offices in Delhi. Okay. Students, you know the president of India lives in, reside in Rashtrapati Bhavan. You can see here in the image. The president of India resides in the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Government of other country also have their offices in Delhi, which are known as embassies. Okay, students. Hope students you have understood about the location and government offices. All the government offices are situated in the Delhi are there in the Delhi and Rashtrapati Bhavan here the president lives in Rashtrapati's Bhavan okay now students what you are going to do you have to read the textbook and you have to underline new words